my name is Cathy Nutt Brown. I'm a professor in the School of Education at the University of Sheffield. I've been working on family literacy research for some 20 years or so. Today's. Working with parents and young children in their early years is one way of trying to narrow that gap between those who are high achieving and those who might struggle later on in school. We're here at Grace Owen Nursery School in Sheffield. We're filming here because Grace Owen has been part of our work at the university for some four years now. Up till recently it was in the top 2% of multiple deprivation nationally. And over the time I've been here, um, there have been lots of different families, asylum seekers have sort of come and gone. Last year the count of languages was 17. But on the one hand, because the nursery school has a good reputation, we have some professional families who come. A lot of children with English as an additional language and a lot of local, you know, local families and all children with special needs, so a really wide range. Our project hasn't been about pa uh, practitioners working directly with children, it's about practitioners working with parents and giving them more knowledge and skills. Because the home environment is so important, we've been finding ways that nursery teachers and other early years practitioners can work with parents to share their professional knowledge about how literacy develops, about how adults can support children in everyday literacy things, like using signs and logos when they're shopping, reading stories together, sharing rhymes, real everyday literacy so that children in their very early years get a sense of how literacy works, how adults use literacy and they think that's an exciting thing to do for themselves. When Kim first started I did a uh, mother and baby course that they did here and that, that benefit, benefited me quite a lot and Kian. Sit one to one and just learn him alphabet, do his name and stuff like that. Plus, you know, there's only me and Kian so we've got a lot of time on his hands. It's progressing. Very good. We've been working in the School of Education on family literacy projects for a long time. My colleague Peter Hannan and I did some early work in 1995. Um, he developed, um, along with me, uh, what we call the ORIM framework, and ORIM stands for Opportunities, Recognition, Interaction and a Model. That framework worked really well in a large-scale family literacy programme in the late 90s. Uh, we then did some work with the National Children's Bureau on a three-year funded project. That was successful too in building children's literacy development, parents' confidence. What I wanted to do this time in this project was to share the RM framework with another group of practitioners and get them to play about with it. So I worked with a group of 20 practitioners. Uh, they went away and tried out some ideas and then we'd meet again and talk it through. In the end, when we calculated the figures, they'd shared the framework and their ideas with 300 other practitioners. And when we added up the figures of how many families had been reached, rather than reaching 60, they'd reached 6,000. So there was something about this framework. I'm Kay Davis and I work for Kirklees Local Authority and we've been working on the Orin project um, across the authority but particularly with three preschools in WF13 and Zora works in a bilingual preschool. A mother who might not have English as a first language may be able to read the same story in, in Urdu and elaborate on it a lot more. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just worked fantastic. It empowered the parents, I think. Uh, to believe in themselves that they can actually do something positive for their children regardless of the fact if the English wasn't fantastic uh, they still were able to offer something to that child which was going to be so beneficial. Could you write your name for me? Yeah, go on. Yeah, write your name. Circle and down. That's it. Boy, you serve. Yeah, you write your name. We're using our three settings as models and running training for other practitioners so already we've trained 200 practitioners who come on a training course to learn about Orin. Every parent has got something to offer. That's right. It's a model of hope. This is Aaron. This is my son. And we're reading um, Skeleton in the Cupboard. Um, he loves this book, mainly because it's got pop-up pictures and he can move them around. We read it together at least um, once or twice a day, especially when he goes to bed. At home, we'll, I'll make my ch child do shopping lists. And he gets really excited at the moment if he sees like a capital A because it's in his name, Alpha. He gets really excited and it's the start of reading and writing, isn't it? I 
I can't stop now because this is so exciting and it's also such a thrill to work with um, really committed and very capable practitioners and then to see the way that families just take these very very simple ideas of how to use literacy in everyday life and in their homes and really make a difference to the children's early achievement.